Hi guys, happy Vlogmas day 17. I know I'm wearing literally the same thing I wore in the last vlog, but the sweatshirt from H&M is so comfy. I got it in the men's section and it's so soft. It was like $15. Anyways, it's Thursday and I am in the office right now pulling a bunch of orders. I'm trying to get them all shipped out ASAP because I know that the postal service is like super slammed right now with covid and there's not as many people working at the post office right now because of covid a bunch of tracking and packages have been delayed which is super unfortunate but there's nothing really that we can do i feel so like not sorry but like i like feel for all of the essential workers all the mail carriers like it must be so stressful during this time we're stressed out about getting all of these packages out but it must be so much more stressful for fedex ups usps all of the mail carriers like i feel for them i wish i could do something to help so i am just pulling orders as you can see we're sold out of a lot but we're hopefully restocking next week this is how we organize everything All right, so once again, it is already 4.30 and I have not caught you guys up on literally anything all day. But basically, we've just been working. Um, that is, we're like freaking Santa's elves over here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the clips from before, but Remy basically just sold us out. <laughs> not like sold us out. That makes it sound like she like, oh, yeah, like, not like threw that. us under the bus. She like sold out state of mind. <laughs> um, as you can see, we're looking very sparse over here, but we're, we just, um, had a little business meeting, restocked some things. Hopefully we'll get them like next week, but everything has been so crazy with the postal service and the whole postal service gridlock and everything is super delayed. I mean, that we were talking last night how we wish that we could do something for all of the mail carriers that come to our apartment complex, like how people leave the stuff on like the front doors and everything with like care packagey yeah, things little. for the postal workers but it's really hard when you're in an apartment complex and most of our packages most of the time don't actually get delivered to our door so we were trying to brainstorm something that we can do to give back to the mail carriers like fedex and ups and usps but we don't know what we can do we don't know if we should just be like total kiss asses and put something in like the package room but we're like scared that other people are gonna take stuff yeah, because yeah. there are some assholes out there. I tell you. Yeah, someone went through Netta's they went through package, package today. And totally. they decided they didn't like what I had. Yeah, so some Netta's package, she got this whole order from Anthropology. She couldn't find it. Finally got a hold of it and it was like in another building, but someone went through it all, opened everything, Every box but then didn't take the anything. <laughs> they basically just opened everything, decided it wasn't worth their time and then left it. <laughs> so if they have the balls to like, do that do that to a package i just feel like they're gonna take something that's in our mail room that's meant for the mail carriers so we're just like i don't know like what do you guys do you guys have any ideas or have done this at a complex we really want to do something because we can only imagine how stressful it is for all of the delivery people like it, it stresses me out just thinking about it it stresses us out trying to get stuff out and we're not even actually physically doing it. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know because we would love to give back in some way. And going into the post office is stressful like enough. Minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even imagine. And there are some, Netta was dealing with Karens this morning. Whew. They weren't she, even old Karens. They were young and they should have been with it. They should have been with it. She was having a mental breakdown. She was like huffing and puffing, throwing things on the floor. I was like, are you like five years old? It was yeah, like I feel like I, I totally understand being frustrated during the holidays. Obviously everyone wants to get their shit out, but like don't take it out on the postal workers. It's not their fault, okay? Yeah. Like they're not getting paid enough. It's just, it's not fair. So don't, don't be mean. Be nice this holiday season. Spread holiday cheer. We're regulars at like a particular one and I'm thinking of maybe doing something like for them specifically because they're always tagged. So I don't know, maybe something like that, but I really want to do something because it is tough out here in these streets. Literally nothing interesting. This is why it's so hard to vlog. Like I don't know what to show you guys like that is tagging things on the floor because she's a floor person. If you guys didn't know, Netta is a floor, she- Heard it acted, here first. You heard it here first. Breaking news. She loves the floor. You can give this girl all the chairs in the world, she'll sit on the floor. We have three tables in here and she still chooses the floor. And we wonder why our backs hurt. Maybe we should, should we do a, a montage? A time-lapse montage.
Okay, so we've been doing orders, but this has been hiding in here, Steven's mini fridge, and it's it's really getting in the way, so I think I'm just gonna give it to him now because I don't think I can like hold this in here hostage until Christmas because it's, it's just so large, it's annoying. So I'm gonna go hopefully sort it out. He's usually never home, like he's usually out playing golf or like, I don't know, doing whatever, but he's been home all day. And yesterday and it's like how am I supposed to situate this he's literally just like watching TV like sports things so he's a little he's a little distracted right now but I think I'm gonna take it out in here right and then mm -hmm. figure it out but it's it's literally so large <laughs> Look how nice it's so cute I kind of want one now Okay, we've concocted a plan. We're going to film something and I'm gonna tell him not to come out of the room for like 20 minutes. Also, I got him a mini fridge like three years ago, but it's clearly too small now. I'll put a clip of what it looks like now and it barely holds anything, maybe like a case of beer and then some. So this is about to be like litty. He's gonna love it. Okay, me and that are gonna film something really quick. So can you not come out for like 20 minutes? So we have no background noise. Slash get whatever you need in the kitchen now. Okay, now we're, we're doing operation remove all the beers from this fridge. Are you kidding me? There's more? We literally just found more. So now I have to reconfigure. It's also got like a light. I knew you weren't filming the video. <laughs> oh, no. I knew. What? You doing weird. Did you hear us? What'd you think? Wrapping present. <laughs> I was gonna buy you more beer. Thank God I didn't. Because well, there's no more room. I was just like Thinking. stocking up because of COVID, so I just happened to have a lot of beer. I won't normally have this much beer. I think you can yeah. fit four per, you look at it, yeah. four per five, yeah. five in a row, four going back. So are all the ones in the back of it the same flavor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I tried. You had like a million of these ones. I don't know, they came out of nowhere in the back. Do of you want to give us a beer haul? <laughs> you guys like okay. sour beers? Right now, what are, they, what are they buying? Well, he has like 700 no, of those they're ones. They're all good. Hi guys, happy Vlogmas day. God, why do I always have to check? Day 18, happy Vlogmas day 18. Um, it is Friday. Crazy. Um, but, but we just finished like a bunch of orders and we're gonna go drop it off later and hopefully shoot some content. It's already two and you guys know how I feel about daylight savings time. It just goes by too fast and I just never have any time to do anything. So I'm about to do my makeup, but I wanted to show you guys, you guys always ask about this freaking brow product. Actually two brow products I wanted to talk about. I hate the lighting in here, I wish it was a little brighter. Um, I mentioned this on my IG story. This is from Revitalash. It's like this eyebrow conditioner and it grows your brows and you can't really tell as much here but 
I'll put a clip of what my brows did look like in August. I started using this and I used it every day for like three and a half months and my brows grew so much. I'm about to show you guys how I do my like brow routine I guess with um, the brow gel but basically I'm able to give myself like a feathery brow look with just brow gel and I was never able to do that and this thing is kind of pricey but honestly it's so worth it I started using it in August like I said and so use it I think until like the end of October and my brows grew so much it's insane nothing has ever really worked for me that well and that fast I did do the castor oil thing almost every night but I just feel like this one works so much better so it comes like this let me show you guys it comes like this and it like already has the applicator and then you just like brush it over the brows and they have grown so much. So this is how I do my brows. This 24 hour benefit brow setter, you guys need this. It will change the game. It literally will stay. I've never actually like worn it for 24 hours, but I believe it that it would because it holds them up there. So let me show you guys. I think my battery is about to die, so let's do this quickly. So basically, looks like this. A little ever work for me okay there so it looks like this i could never be a beauty guru this is ridiculous anyway whatever it's just like the shittiest lighting sorry guys and i kind of like use the flat side to kind of push them up and it gives you this like laminated brow look i'm only gonna do one on camera so you guys can see the literal difference damn i'm looking crusty right now this is what they look like like all brushed up and then i kind of just go like this and then i'll take my finger to kind of set them in place like that and they'll still stay like literally all day and then so that they don't look so crazy i kind of take the pointy side and just kind of shape them sorry guys this is why i don't do makeup tutorials because i cannot see what i'm doing just like that Oh my god, it's like literally insane. So, this is the brow, no brow product. This is my other brow with just the brow gel. So, this stuff really made a difference because as you can see, this, I'm gonna put a clip here of again what my brows look like. I could never do this. Like, I've never had this many brow hairs on my face in my life. So, that's what I do for my brow. And then I use this little micro filling pen. So, this is like the most low budget brow tutorial ever. I need another light in here, or like brighter lights. And I just take this, just like three prong looking brush, kind of looks like a fork, and then literally just go like this and create hair like strokes and then I just fill in the sparse areas. It's really easy to use and this one lasts all day too. I wanna say it's waterproof, but don't quote me. And then do really natural. I don't know if you guys can even like see what I'm doing, sorry. I don't even know if I caught all that on camera. I could never be a beauty guru, oh my god. But yeah, that's basically how I do my brows. There's one, and then there's the other, with no product. Also, one more side note, sorry I'm listening to a podcast in the background, but this setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury is so freaking good. I usually think that setting sprays are bullshit and they don't really like, do anything, but this one, it's their um, flawless setting spray, party all day, stay all night, and it literally keeps my makeup in place all day. Like, at the end of the day, I'll look at myself and be like, thinking that I just did my makeup. I just whipped out this foundation that I've had forever. This is actually one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's the True, or the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I'm using shade T10, because this is all I had in my drawer, but it's a pretty good match. I don't know, it's kind of coming up a little yellowish on camera, but I'm using this. Also, these are the best makeup sponges ever. They're by Juno. They're kind of like fuzzy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a microfiber sponge. And I like them so much better than any beauty blender, like the Real Techniques, like these are just so good and they're so inexpensive, I have so many. This Dose of Colors Concealer. I'm giving you guys an impromptu makeup tutorial, it's gonna be a little not the best quality, but whatever. Oh, I just realized I never finished my other brow. Well, there's that. I'm doing this thing where I just like set my face. Every time I do something, trying to do this Jackie Aina method that makes your makeup like smudge proof under mask and it's been working pretty good so far. I also feel like I never listen to music anymore. I literally always listen to podcasts. I basically, once I got AirPods, I was like deep 
into podcasts and I watched, or I watched, I listened to My Favorite Murder so quickly. I feel like, I think they started their podcast in like 2016 and I listened to every single episode and finished it eh, like a month ago. So then I had to move on. I listened to Jensen and Holes and I listened to Crime Junkie. Um, I like Crime Junkie, but I just feel like it's a little like too rehearsed. Like it, I just like, like the conversation, um, in some other podcasts, but I do like like the storytelling, I guess. But now I'm listening to True Crime Obsessed. Oh my God, it's so freaking funny. And not all of them are about murder. They're just like, like they did an episode on Catfish. The hosts are so funny. And I just like, I like, I think that's why I'm, I think that's why my favorite murder is my favorite podcast or crime podcast because it's funny. Oh, I have you guys on my little turning thing, hold on. I think that's why I like My Favorite Murder because it is funny and obviously they're not like making fun of the murder. There's just like a lighthearted way to talk about it and it's not so serious and that's why I think I like that and like True Crime Obsessed, they're just like funny and I wanna laugh. I don't wanna be depressed about something. So I love um, True Crime Obsessed, My Favorite Murder. They're literally hilarious. Other than that, I don't like really listen to podcasts. I do sometimes, like I listen to Brooke and Danielle's Gals on the Go. I listen to Remy and Alicia's Pretty Basic. I just like don't dabble in podcasts that much. And if I do, they're crime podcasts. Oh my God, my camera's on to that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do a rain check on this makeup tutorial. But before it dies, I am going in with this cream bronzer from Soul Body. It's apparently a dupe for the Chanel cream bronzer that everyone loves and this smells amazing. It smells like coconut summery and I really like it. It blends out really nicely. And then let's see how much I can get done before the camera dies. I'm gonna go in with Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Oh my God, this shit's like so pigmented too. I feel like I'm like racing. This one is in the shade Love. And then I use this Real Techniques brush. Buff it out. Not gonna put too much. Even though I use the cream bronzer too, I'm gonna go in with powder bronzer just a little bit afterwards. Also, this is like the best powder. I use Laura Mercier's translucent powder all the time, but when they came out with the honey shade, it just made such a difference in my skin. This is like better for medium skin tones, and I just love it. It gives you like such a nice finish. Like super smooth. I love it. I like the translucent one as well. This one, I don't know what it is. It just makes it look so much nicer. Okay, face done. I gotta do this other brow because, okie dokie. I'm surprised my camera hasn't died yet. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I had to cut my makeup tutorial short earlier because my battery died. Sorry, this is the final look. We're in the car right now because we just went to take the mail at the last minute as per usual we caused the scene i'll put a clip in here because i forgot to film this little transitional bit just got to the post office at the last minute as per usual trip one Where'd they go? Why'd they take them away? Hi. Now we're on the way to my mom's to go pick up some new gossip merchandise. Got some new tumblers going on. And then your girl hasn't eaten all day. And it is 4.42 and all I had today was two Eggo waffles, one cup of water, and a pumpkin cream cold brew. And I'm wired. Love that for me.